Hi, this is Gita Selly, it's Distract TV. I'm here with Naima Mora, America's Next Top Model, fourth cycle winner. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. How how <laughs> was the experience? Um, it was it was pretty incredible. It's a very unique experience filming reality TV, specifically in a competitive nature. Um, but it was really life changing and it's been um, a place and a, a platform for me to just grow an amazing career and I've made a lot of friendships and worked with a lot of amazing artists and people over the last few years. And Okay, so tell me about the artists that you've worked with. Um, well, you know, just being able to work with a lot of photographers, designers. Um, one of my uh, favorite designers right now is actually really one of my good friends. He was on Project Runway. <sighs> His name is Richard Hallmark, but then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also, I don't know, it's just a lot of creative people, makeup artists, you know, hairstylists. But how has your life changed? What were you doing before the cycle and what has happened in the last few years? I was actually in between careers before the cycle aired. I had just left the ballet company and I was like auditioning for other companies. What I was really doing was like working at a coffee shop and hanging out with my friends after work. Um, so you were normal, yeah, like everyone else. Uh, I am normal. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and um, and then the show aired and I fought really hard to win the competition. And after I won, it was just kind of like a complete like flip, like going traveling all over the world and going to red carpet parties and and what's your most favorite place that you've been to in the world? Um, well, on the show we went to South Africa, which was amazing. And um, a very inspirational trip. I actually performed a TED Talk on my... Nice. Yeah, last year I performed a TED Talk about my inspiration for life and love and, you know, courage that I found in South Africa. Um, but then also I've been, you know, I like... I like the Caribbean. I went to Grand Cayman for a shoot. Oh, no, no, no. I went to Guatemala. Oh, my God. A cover shoot. Um, just a few months ago, we, we shot the cover of Look Magazine there, which is a South American magazine. And we shot in Antigua, and it was so beautiful. There was a volcano in the background, and the streets I'm were not jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous. Why would I be jealous? <laughs> now, right now, we're in Manhattan. Have you been to and London? City. Yeah, NYC, but have you been to London? Have you done London Fashion Week? Yet? I have not done London Fashion Week. I Why not? I have been to London though. Okay, all right. Did you think I got London? a little, okay. <laughs> she eased up a little bit. Um, I loved London. It was beautiful. I stayed at this hotel called the Savoy on the Strand. Oh. It was amazing. And I actually was working for CoverGirl at the time, uh, filming like guest spots and promotional spots for. Uh, the following cycles of America's Next Top Model, and I like London. I mean, I lived in New York forever, and so London is like New York. We just talk different. Lots of similarities, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> different. Mm. <laughs> so, there is a book. Yes. <laughs> it's your book. Mm -hmm. What is it about? Um, I decided. Well, I went to school for English. Models are not stupid. <laughs> we're not dense. We're not vapid. Um, I went to school for English actually before I decided to start modeling. And I've always wanted to write a book. And only like kind of in the last couple of years I've matured and to, I guess, a woman and wanted to write something that was like really inspirational to like all these fans around the world that supported me through my career. And you know, the fashion industry is kind of cutthroat sometimes. And, I got a lot of support from all these beautiful young people all around the world, like, you're my favorite, I love you, and they were just kind of responding to me being me, you know? Because you're just, you are a very <laughs> down-to-earth girl, you're so just natural and there's no qualms about you. Thanks. So I think this is great. <laughs> yeah, so it's just that, it's an inspirational book. For Where can people buy this? It's on Amazon and Amazon Europe. So that's... Do you want to announce your book? Naima, Model Behaviour. Model Behaviour. <laughs> model Behaviour. Yeah. Now, um, what are you up to nowadays? Aside from talking about your book, what else is going on in your life? Well, I just became the face of Kate's Cosmetics, which is a brand new cosmetic line. Yay. And they're going to be launching the product line this summer. Um, and they're one of the sponsors for my book tour. Um, and what else? I'm, I had a band that I was working in called Galaxy of Tar, but um, taking a break from that. Okay, and a band. Mm -hmm. So you play an instrument or you sing? What were you doing in the band? Or were you just... 
I was just looking Posing. good. Like, <laughs> no, no, my parents are musicians, so I have a, I come from a family of like music and it was part, I think, of my genetics to kind of fall in suit a little bit and I was touring with a rock band and um, our music is up on iTunes still. What? Tell us your music! Well, the band is called, is called Galaxy of Tar and uh, we have the album on iTunes, but um, yeah, I'm just uh, working on different projects right now. I'm actually doing like a solo album and it's more kind of like techno music, electronic. And Amazing. Oh my God. You're just like full of all of this crazy stuff. Amazing. <laughs> so on iTunes, mm -hmm. do we just type in your name? Uh, type in Galaxy of Tar. Galaxy of Tar. Well, my last question for you. This is very serious. Okay. Get okay. your thinking cap on. Very serious. Yes. If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower and what would be your name? Oh my goodness, that's a loaded question to ask someone on the spot like that. Yeah, so, think, of, think of, think of like, what is it that you would want to do? Um, I want like, I would, <laughs> this is going to sound like cliche and corny, but like if I were a superhero, I'd just kind of like imagine myself as like, like light rays that can come out of like my body, like out of my like heart or chest or like, And what do they do? Or my hands or something. And um, they just shine light. I just shine light everywhere. So I you would basically just be an eco-friendly light bulb? Um, kind of. <laughs> and then my name would be um, Light Beam or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But that is funny. Okay. It's sure. very shiny. I'll bling bling. <laughs> bling bling. That's, that's her that name. Bling bling. <laughs> that's her name. There you go. Bling bling. Superhero. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Naima, it's been real. Is there anything you would like to say to your fans out there? Um, thanks. Thanks for everything. Thanks for supporting my career. And um, I really hope to get to meet all of you guys one day and maybe on my book tour or like a show or me performing or something. And yeah, thanks for having hang me. Hang on, hang on. Are you single? I am single. Okay. <laughs> I had to get that in because I had a lot of boys that were emailing me saying, oh, wow, you're going to meet Naima? Um, there's a lot of men that fancy you out there. So, boys, she is single. Three things you look for in a man. Um, honesty, um, courage, and good looks. I mean, tall, dark, and handsome. I don't, you know, I mean. She's tall. <laughs> She's very tall. I'm right here. She's tall. <laughs> Thank you, Naima. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>